Hello everyone, this is Mayank Sangvi from vlemon.com and I welcome you all to another Google Cloud video. This video helps you to create a Microsoft SQL Server Google Cloud SQL instance. For this video, we are using the following blog post. To open the blog post, either you can click on this notification icon or find the same URL in the description of this video. At first, we need to open Google Cloud Marketplace. The following URL will redirect the following URL will redirect you to Google Cloud dashboard. Click to open it. I am assuming you already have an active Google Cloud account. By visiting the above URL, you can see the Google Cloud dashboard if you already have an active account. Next, we need to open the marketplace from the left menu. At the marketplace, we will search for the Cloud SQL. and select it from the result. On the Cloud SQL page, we have all the Cloud SQL related information. I am clicking on Go to Cloud SQL button. It will open the Cloud SQL instance page. Here we can create a new instance or access the existing available instance. For me, I don't have any existing instances. First, we need to click on the create instance button to create a new instance. After that, we need to select the database engine type. I wanted to create a Microsoft SQL Server instances. So I clicked on the choose SQL Server button to open create a SQL Server instance page. Here we need to provide the new instance related information. Instance ID, it is your instance ID. It must be a unique lowercase string that only includes letter, numbers and hyphen. Under password, you need to enter the password for the SQL Server Administration account SQL Server. You can auto generate it by clicking on this icon. Save the password, we need it in future. Select the appropriate Microsoft SQL Server version. I am selecting SQL Server 2019 Express Edition. We use a single zone to reduce the instance pricing. You may select the multi zone for the high availability and production usage. Machine type I am selecting with 1 CPU and 3.75 GB RAM. I want to disable the backup because this instance is only for demonstration. Once you select the appropriate value, click on the create instance button. Then wait for the instance to create and run.
Once the instance is ready, we will get the server IP. Then we can use the SQL Server Management Studio or another database ID to connect with the SQL Server instance. Open the SQL Server Management Studio and connect to the server using the IP address and SQL Server authentication. The server connection is not successful. By default, the Cloud SQL does not allow connection from all the external IPs. Therefore, to allow any specific IP to connect with the server, we must add it to allow list. To add an IP in the allow list, we need to click on the connections and click on the add network button. After that, we need to provide the name and IP address. You can find your IP by visiting the following URL. Finally, click on the done button and click on save button. It will save all the changes. After saving your IP address, try connecting to the database server one more time. Now we can connect with SQL Server using the allowed IPs. Finally, we will create a test database using the following SQL command. Our Microsoft SQL Server Google Cloud SQL Service is up and running. You can find more Cloud SQL related tutorials by visiting the following URL. Thanks for watching this video and see you all in the next one.